anything that you can research on your own is something that you probably want to avoid asking, right? Research is an important part in the recruiting process. Uh, and there's a reason why, right? College coaches expect recruits to have a basic understanding about their program, their school. So you don't want to ask questions like, hey, do you have my major? Right? How did you guys do uh, this past season? You know, what conference are you guys in? Um, you know, who, who are your coaches? Right? That's stuff that you can find online and you should come prepared with knowing that. Right? If you come to a campus or you're talking to a coach asking those questions, as a coach, this, this student athlete hasn't done the research on my program. So are they even taking my school seriously? Right? If I'm a coach and I'm setting aside a time to have a conversation with you as a student athlete, I've done my research as a coach to have myself educated on this conversation. So student athletes, you should be expected to do the same. You should know the school, where it's located, again, the conference, the team's record, how they've done in recent years, you know, the style of offense they play. Again, do your research, come in having that information. You're gonna impress a coach more by having that information available and knowing that that's gonna help you because coaches can, can sift through that, right? You have to make a good first impression in, in life in general, certainly in recruiting conversation, in that conversation with a college coach, Dan. Yeah, just making sure that you're well-researched and that you don't show up unprepared, I think is ultimately um, kind of the messaging here. And I think a really good example might be for parents, if you go to a work party and you know maybe you know one of your spouse's uh, work colleagues knows a lot about you and they start talking about you and they ask you a lot of questions and there's a lot of insight, but you're standing there you don't know a lot about them. So you ask a lot of the basic questions and it can be a little bit awkward, right? Like, hey, I, I really don't know that much about you. And you don't want to come off that way for college coaches. So do your homework, get the basics down. But there are some things that you will not be able to find on the Internet. And that's really what you should be back uh, asking about to utilize the most of your time. Um, you know, not necessarily over asking a college coach for anything, but showing that you have a very mutual um, kind of interest in what they're doing and that that's where you're approaching it from and a genuine interest in what they're doing. So, um, and then just be overly communicative about yourself and, and what you want a college coach to know about you and where you're going to be this summer and uh, what kind of tournaments you're going to be at. Or, hey, coach, I've been working on this training program. You know, I've, I've gained expert and strength here in the last three months. So um, that's okay to overshare with the college coach because they're not necessarily going to know that about you either. And to kind of offer that up, um, it's got to be a two-way street in that regard. So a lot of good things to ask, you know, whether it be uh, from the financial standpoint, the cultural standpoint, obviously the athletic standpoint, um, things that you are genuinely wondering about at that program um, is pretty much fair game. And I think, that, again, the underlying message here is that, hey, coach, I really care about your program. I've done a lot of research on my own, but I also want to know more about your program. And coaches tend to latch onto that a little bit more. So just as you prepare to communicate with college coaches, just you know, know that you're asking the right questions to get the most out of that conversation, but also know that there are some things that you should be avoiding. When, and what at least initially having a conversation with a college coach. So uh, if you guys need additional help, come back to NCSA. We're constantly putting on these talks about some of this stuff. We've addressed a few of these things on live before. Um, if you guys want, we, we host webinars uh, a couple times a week. Uh, we'll put the link up in the thing. Actually, DK, I think it'd be above your head. It'd be over here. No, <laughs> over here. <laughs> anyway, we'll put it's the link up there for you guys. Yeah, it'll pop up for you guys to click. And if you want to sign up for that webinar, please do. It's just another way to get uh, some free education on the recruiting process. We'll throw a link in there here in the bottom, but also in the top over here. So.